Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. So we get started with some pretty warm and pretty muggy conditions again, just like we've been seeing. I think the afternoon is going to feature lots of hot, lots of humid until we get some showers. And like yesterday, when we have to wait until 3, 4, 5, 6 p.m. to get some showers, some areas never getting any showers. Then we get lots of hours with those really high temperatures, made it into the mid 90s in pretty much all spots yesterday. Going to do that again, I think, today. So look for 94s, 95s, 96s, 97s for daytime highs. And then you mix in the humidity, it's going to feel like it's up over 110. That's the reason for another day of the heat advisories. And then we'll do it all over again tomorrow with the same kind of setup that doesn't want to go away. There isn't anything new coming down the road to move this air mass out or to change things up, at least not yet. So for a lot of us, we get the showers, they fizzle out, we keep some of the moisture around, and we start the day muggy. We get hot and humid in the afternoon until the showers come back. There's plenty of fuel for those showers, so there should be a good scattering of them, but it's not an everybody gets wet all the time kind of rain event. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of change happening. Not anytime soon with this forecast. Everything is pretty much the way it's been and likely going to stay that way for another couple of days at least. We're at 76 this morning in Tallahassee. We're at 74 in Valdosta. They got dew point numbers in the mid 70s. It's really icky, sticky, gross outside. Your glasses are going to fog up the minute you step out of the air conditioning. And again, we'll be looking for some of that patchy fog. A few more temperatures around the region. Mariana's at 76. Perry's at 75. Tifton's actually the cool spot at 71 this morning. Not breezy. Maybe a little tiny puff of a breeze trying to come in and a little bit light and a little bit variable. But I think for the most part, we'll be looking for some fog over the next couple of hours. Camilla, our visibility is down below one mile. Valdosta below two miles, Moultrie at two and a half miles. So some fog is going to be something that we do have to contend with probably till about 730 or 8 o'clock. Now, anything that's organized moving through the middle of the country is staying there. Our future cast is going to try to develop some showers this afternoon when the sea breeze fires up. We'll see if that's able to be strong enough to spread more showers into more areas. Plenty of fuel for these showers today, tomorrow and this weekend. So I do think decent shots to get these showers. But it's not an everybody gets wet kind of deal. And I think this is pretty much the setup for another couple of days until we start looking for a few changes. And maybe one of the changes that we'll start to notice comes with what's going on in the tropics. What I'm looking at here is that same energy that is now a little bit north of Puerto Rico. Where it ends up interacting and where it ends up going becomes super important. The more north it goes early, that may change some of the thinking down the road a piece. The latest tropical outlook shifts that area of focus maybe a little bit more more back towards the west. So for more of the Gulf, it's early. We're talking four, five, six, seven days down the road, and we expect a whole bunch of change with this, even if nothing ever develops. And that's the most important takeaway here. That tropical moisture and that energy it is moving towards the Bahamas and towards the Florida Peninsula, so that should enhance our chances for more showers. So I think we're going to be at the very least leaning towards more chances for more showers and more clouds early next week even if it never turns into anything. It doesn't have to for it to help to give us better chances for more showers. Now, if it does develop and turn into something, and if it does move a little further to the west, that changes our forecast a little bit more. So we've got things that we're keeping our eyes on, nothing to be concerned with yet, but it's a good time to keep in mind that, yeah, we want to make sure that we're staying ahead of this, and it's always a good idea to make sure that you're stocked up and prepared and ready. We've had kind of a lull for a couple of weeks. That lull's about over, and now it's time to watch and see how things develop. On the Gulf today, winds out of the south first, then west later, 5 to 12 seas, 2 feet less, so it's not been real breezy out there for the boaters. 70s and 80s this morning, very, very muggy. The rain chances up to like 60% again. I think a lot of us are going to get to 94, 95, 96. That's where we saw temperatures yesterday, but it'll feel 10 or 15 degrees hotter than it is with that heat index tonight. The showers fizzle. It stays really, really muggy. And as we go through the next few days, I don't see a lot of change early next week. I think we're going to lower those afternoon temperatures because it feels like our rain chances are going to increase one way or the other. The one way is some tropical moisture. The other could be a little something more than that. We've got plenty of time to fine tune that. Please keep checking in with us. We'll have updates.